Hello everyone, Torx here. In this video, we're going to be learning about how to install an optical drive into a desktop computer. It's really easy to do, so let's get right to it. For an example, I'm using this eMachines ET183107, an OEM computer. So like with all PC installations, we need to make sure everything is unplugged and the power supply is turned off, if there's a switch there. Now open it up. For optical drives, you're gonna wanna remove the front and back side panels, as well as the front panel. So let's begin by unscrewing. Most desktops will have two screws per panel, but this one's a bit wonky and has four for the backside panel. It also counts as the computer's roof. But once everything's unscrewed, pull back and then lift off. Every chassis will be a little bit different, but this is almost always the way you're going to do it. Now the front panel. This is where it can get a little tricky. Most of the time, the front panel will have these bent pegs that hold it in place. This one has three on both sides. All we have to do is push them inward until they're free from the casing. When they're all through, the panel will pop right off. I mean, try not to let it fall on its face like I just did here. But in some scenarios, all you'll have to do is pull it off by grabbing its cutout below, if it's pressure fit. Consult your case's manual on what to do if you have one. Otherwise, you might just break the thing, and we don't want that. Now that everything's ready, all we have to do is slide in the drive. Make sure it's lined up to the screw holes in the case. Now with optical drives, you'll want small threaded screws. For reference, here's a small threaded screw compared to a large threaded screw, which you'd use to mount a hard drive. Screw both of them in. And if your case has screw holes on the other side, feel free to screw those in as well if you want to help secure it. This one, like a lot of OEM cases, doesn't, but that's okay. This usually isn't necessary for optical drives anyway. So since our drive is physically installed, let's get the wires connected. Like every optical drive that I'm aware of in mid-2019, this one uses SATA connectors. If you're new to this, they're almost L-shaped at the ends. This is the same case for hard and solid state drives. There's going to be a slot that connects to the motherboard so your computer can interact with it, and a slot that goes to the power supply so it can actually turn on. Power supply slot is about twice the size of the motherboard slot. Now that I bored everyone that's already familiar with SATA connectors, let's get this sucker plugged in. Grab a SATA connector from your power supply, line it up, and plug it in. It should just fit right into place. Next, get a motherboard SATA connector and plug that in. Again, same exact process, just push it in. All that's left to do now is plug it into the motherboard. Locate the SATA slots. They're going to be in a generally different location depending on your motherboard. Then, just like you did with the drive, line up the other end of the connector and insert it into any of them. That's it. The optical drive has been installed and is fully functional. No additional drivers will be required once you turn on the system. All that's left to do is close our computer back up and plug everything in. Just do everything you did to open it in reverse. Place the panels back on, push them forward, screw them in. You know the drill. With the front panel, usually all you'll have to do is push it on. The notches will slide through the slots, then bend outward, locking it into place. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, any questions at all, leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Torx out.